There's a lot of helpful information available on the Medicare.gov website. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an account and access that information. All right, so we're at the Medicare.gov site. And the first thing we have to do is um, either enter our username or password, or we actually have to create an account. So I'm going to walk you through the process of creating an account. So we are going to log in and no account. Um, it says to create an account now. So that's what I'm going to do since I don't have one. And you're going to have to agree, of course, to um, uh, these terms. Now I want you to get your Medicare A and B card out because we're going to have to give them all the personal information that's on that card. Uh, and so I'm going to start typing in the Medicare number right here. And then uh, next they're going to ask you for your Medicare A date, which of course is on the card. And you may have a card that has A and B, but they're just requesting the A date for now. So now that we've typed all the information in, now we can go to next. All right, now on this screen, we're uh, going to have to give them some more information about ourselves. Last name and then your date of birth. Of course, your zip code or city, whatever you want to put in there. And then the best email address to reach you at. We're going to have to confirm that and then answer a couple of other questions here. So I'm going to agree to this statement that I'm certifying this information is accurate. And then I'm going to push next. Now, I'm going to have to create a username and password, of course, and you want to be sure that um, uh, you save all this information. Sometimes we'll have people that set up the account and they lose it, so you don't want to have to do that. So be sure to put this in and then also write it down. Okay, and then uh, now let's create a password and, of course, save it as well and confirm that. And then next, uh, making our account secure by uh, identifying a security question. Okay, with that information in, we're now going to be able to create our account. Now that we have our account all set up, now we can log in. So let's click on the login button. All right, so here's the basic information on my plan. But right below that, if you'll scroll down, you're going to see there's a lot of details that I can um, check into. So the first thing we're going to explore uh, is this view my claim. So go ahead and click on that. And now what's great about this is it's going to show us uh, what our deductible is for this year as well as have we met the deductible. So I'm going to click on check my deductible amount. And of course, in 2023, that deductible amount is $226. And you'll see it'll give us a history of what the deductibles have been uh, in previous years. So let's click on that. So as you can see, for 2023, that deductible is $226. And that just simply means that uh, the first $226 of anything that's billed through the Medicare Part B, uh, which is going to be all doctor services, durable medical equipment, um, as well as outpatient services, MRIs, CAT scans, and all that. So what they're doing is they're tracking that for me because until I meet that uh, Part B deductible, then I cannot go into the coinsurance part of Medicare Part B. So as the year progresses and you're not sure yet if you've met your deductible or not, you can go on this site and you can go to this area and you'll know exactly how much of that you have met. And then if you've met that deductible, then you would simply be in coinsurance after that. Hey, just real quickly, if you're finding this video to be helpful, you can like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do so, that'll let YouTube know that this is helpful information and they'll send it out to others who also need to learn about Medicare. So the next section we're going to look at is pay my premium. So click on that. And this has to do with the Medicare Part B premium. Right now, most people that are on Medicare are paying $164.90 a month for their Part B premium. As you can see in this example, uh, this person is on Social Security, so they cannot pay their premium on online. There's no reason to do that. It's automatically coming out of the Social Security check. But if you're not receiving Social Security yet, this would be a great place for you to make your payment. Uh, you also could set up what is called Medicare Easy Pay, where they actually will do a bank draft. But if you'd like to pay through a credit card or go into your account every month, this is the best place to do that. And you can see here it says uh, I can't pay it because I don't get a Medicare premium bill because in this example, uh, this person is already on Social Security and is being automatically drafted out of their Social Security check. But if that's not your situation, you just click here. It says find out how to pay your Medicare premiums. And again, you can pay it through this site or you could pay it through some type of bank draft. Next, we're going to look at this um, uh, button over here called Manage My Account. So I want you to click on that. I'll show you something that's very good about this particular feature. As you can see, you can get a replacement Medicare card here. But what I really like about this tab is where it says My Representatives. And it says you can add a family member, friend, or caregiver to talk to Medicare for you. So if there's something that you wanted someone to reach out to Medicare on your behalf or you're somehow incapacitated, you could not do that, you actually can let them know right now that this is a person that you authorize Medicare to talk to on your behalf. So you would click right here where it says Manage My Representative. 
So go ahead and click there. And now we're going to add a representative. And so you're going to give them the name and their phone number and information about that person. And then again, they'll better reach out on your behalf and talk to Medicare. Very, very nice feature. And now as we're back to this main screen, I think another helpful tool here is where it says find providers. So if you're curious whether your doctor takes Medicare, maybe you don't have a doctor right now or a specialist that you're looking for, you could click on this and uh, put in uh, your zip code, your city, your state, and then uh, it'll actually look at the doctors that will be in your area. So that's a very helpful tool. All right, now that brings us back to our main screen, but I want to show you something I think is really, really neat on this site. So we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're back up to the top of the page. And you'll see this uh, option here for providers and services. And what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to try to find someone that would be able to, uh, uh, we can get a nebulizer from, or maybe we're uh, needing some oxygen equipment or supplies, uh, uh, someone that needs a CPAP machine. That's called durable medical equipment providers. And sometimes it's hard to find those. So this is really a wonderful tool. So we're going to click on providers and services. And we're going to scroll down there to find medical equipment and supplies. So this would be our durable medical equipment. Uh, you may need a scooter or a wheelchair or a walker or something like that. And we'll be able to find out who is a Medicare provider of those supplies. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put in my zip code. This would be the people that are servicing my area for durable medical equipment. And let's uh, say that I'm looking for uh, just um, a walker. Select that option, and now it's going to show me those people that take Medicare uh, as, um, as a payer, and so that I don't want to have any kind of building problems whatsoever. And you can see in this example, uh, I could get that walker from CVS. That would be the one provider in this particular uh, search area. And we know they'll accept my Medicare plan. We know that they will uh, uh, satisfy whatever Medicare requires for me to be able to get that walker from them. Hey, my name is Josh Music, and if you've been enjoying my dad Marvin Music's content, you really need to go to our website, MedicareSchool.com. When you go there, you'll be given the opportunity to download a free one-hour Medicare Essentials workshop, and it's going to take you all the way from Medicare A to Z. By the time you're done watching that workshop, uh, you're going to know how to enroll in Medicare, when to enroll in Medicare. You're going to know the differences between Advantage plans, supplemental plans. You're going to know how to get drug coverage. You're going to know everything you need to know to get the best coverage possible. So go ahead, go to MedicareSchool.com and watch the Medicare Essentials workshop. All right, there's one last thing I want to show you that I think could be wonderful information for you and very helpful. I want you to go to the very top of the main screen again, and you'll see up here where it says Basics. And so we're going to click on Basics. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says Medicare New Handbook. This is a uh, book that Medicare puts out every year to make sure people understand all the services that they can get through Medicare, including preventive. So I want you to click on that. And so we have two options here. Uh, we can actually download the Medicare new book. It's usually about 150, 160 pages. So you can click on that and download that. Or notice if you'll scroll down just a little farther, it shows us the site menu. And so if I want to uh, know what Medicare covers, and I'm sharing this with you because we had a lot of calls and questions about this. Hey, Marvin, is this particular test covered or can I get this shot and different things people want to know? So this is a wonderful resource. So we're going to click on what Medicare covers. And so if you want to know if your particular test or your uh, immunization or whatever you need done, you can just click on here and then we're going to be able to type that in. So let's just put in here shingle shot. So if you need to have a shingle shot, we want to find out if that's going to be covered. We'll search for that. And then again, it's going to show us what shots are going to be covered. And you can see here hepatitis, flu shots, uh, going to give you more details on your welcome to Medicare preventive visit, which is excellent to know. And now we're going to get down here to where it talks about shingle shot. And uh, as most of you probably know, the shingle shot is a, it's a two series shots. And so we're going to open this up and it'll give us the details of that shingle shot. So it says here, neither Medicare Part A or Medicare Part B is going to cover the shingle shot. How is it going to be covered? Details following. Medicare prescription drug plans usually cover all commercially available vaccines needed to prevent illness like the shingle shot. And this year in 2023, that actually became a, a shot that is covered at zero copay to you. All right. And so you can be able to get that information right there. And so it says you can get now get more vaccines under Part D at no cost to you. All right, so be your drug plan that will actually cover the expense of that shingle shot. And just one more thing, if you'll go back, you'll see uh, this area here where it says preventive and screening services. 
uh, most of you want to take advantage of those um, uh, zero copay preventive services, the wellness type visits. And this will give us the details of those visits. So you can click on that and it'll go through the list of all the things that Medicare will cover for you uh, as part of your preventive visit. A lot of ladies are curious about what kind of mammogram screenings they can get on Medicare. So we click on the mammogram and then it's going to tell us exactly what you qualify for. You can see a baseline mammogram once in your lifetime. If you're between 35 to 39, screening mammograms once every 12 months. Uh, if you're a woman over the age of 40, most of you watching this, of course, will be, so you can get one of those once a year. And then the diagnostic mammograms more frequently if there's any kind of a health risk at all. So as you can see, there's a tremendous amount of great information, very helpful information here. But if you need something beyond this where you feel like you're just uh, maybe confused by insurance plans, making sure you're on the right drug plan, you're selecting the right insurance plan, then feel free to reach out to us because all of our guides could walk you through the same information to make sure that you're making good Medicare choices.